Hey guys, today I will be talking about picking the right kendama for you. Whether you are a beginner who's looking to get into kendama, or a veteran player looking to replace their kendama, I will be showing you some kendamas that I personally think will be right for you. Number 1, Ozora. Ozora is a strong staple in the kendama community and is highly respected by many of the world's top players. They are known for producing an extremely playable kendama that is great for beginners or the seasoned pros. All Ozora products are either recommended or certified by the Japanese Kendama Association, or the JKA, and are still made in Japan to this day. If someone went up to me and asked what their first kendama should be, Ozora kendamas always pop into my mind. Simple, playable, and cheap. Although they are not very tacky at first, you can break them in to reach a perfect balance of tack and slip. I would recommend getting a classic Ozora rather than a premium colored Ozora. This is because the classic Ozoras are slightly cheaper than the premium ones, although it's your choice. Number 2. Kendama USA Silk Kaizen The silk paint and the ken shape make this Kendama USA produced kendama one of my favorites. Right out of the box you can feel how smooth the ball is and how tacky it is. In my opinion, it's a bit too tacky out of the box. It's hard to adjust the Ken's position during a lighthouse or balance trick, but if you are a beginner and haven't touched a Kendama, the tack should wear down as you play and will still be playable. They're affordable and durable. Take care of it by not dropping it often and it'll surely be one of your best Kendamas. Number 3. Natural Homegrowns Although the price tag might scare a few people away, they are certainly worth it. Sweet Kendamas are a personal favorite for people all over the world. They are extremely durable, very playable, and will last a long time if you take care of it. If you are an experienced kendama player and have never owned a homegrown, I would recommend trying one out. If you don't want to pay the full price, you could buy or trade one at your local kendama store or on social media. So those were my three picks. Links to buy these kendamas will be down in the description. This is all my opinion. If you agree or disagree with one of my statements, leave a comment saying what kendamas you think are the best for beginners and experienced players. Also leave a comment on what videos you want to see me work on next. I'm planning on making more tutorials, commentaries, and short films. Thanks for watching.